always do. We'll start off with a nerd pop quiz, and I think you can guess what that's going to be about. Anybody? Can anybody guess? Anyone? I don't anyone? have a clue. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> I have no idea. Yes! Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm done. Vader's daddy. I'm dead. Oh, my God. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Meet my Padawan. <laughs> Daddy, meet my Padawan. Okay, so our first our first pop quiz is going to be a Star Wars pop quiz. I got that behind me. It's not like you guys can really read it. I'm actually looking now and making sure you can't because the answers and the questions are right under each other. So like, I just want to make sure that it looks all blurry to you. <laughs> um, so first, first we're going to start with that, and then um, um, after that, we are going to be talking about like who she is. What she's dressed up as. Honestly, she doesn't even know this character because uh, she's only watched the movies. So for those uh, Star Wars noobs we have up in this bitch, um, it's going to be a good episode for you. Thank you so much, baby girl. It's going to be a good episode for you. It's definitely a good episode for, for nerd noobs, okay? If you want to be a nerd noob, that's okay. I'll still love you. <laughs> so... Um, we're going to talk a little bit about Star Wars and mainly about the Clone Wars because Anakin and, um, is her name freaking Tona? That's it. I can't even remember. <laughs> Crap! Um, had a huge impact on the Clone Wars. So there's that. And then I wanted to, okay, me and her just watched the entire uh, first season of The Boys. So we're definitely going to talk about that. Of course I'm going to use Star Wars as my theme. It's the 4th of May. My gosh, may the 4th be with you. Okay. So after we do all that and we talk about the boys and we've done our Star Wars, whoa, thank you, True. After we do all that, guess what? I don't know if he's going to come. Thank you, Simba. I don't know if he's going to come, but we have an, a, a crazy possible nerd guest star. Grandpa Slush is supposed to come at the very, very end. Like, you know, like, he said daddy. Uh, not daddy, not daddy. Daddy just got some teeth pulled. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened? That scared the crap out of me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so dead. I have a feeling that that um, that he's not going to make it, but we'll see. We have plenty of content for this, so it's going to be great. If Slush does come here, then he will be able to show us his crazy, crazy Funko Pops uh, collection, and it's going to be dope. So, yeah, that's what we have in store for today. So, oh, I know, right? I, I knew. Well, actually, I didn't know until she told me. <laughs> I had said you were, you were protected. You are. <laughs> you are. Protect you, I will. I'm dead, <laughs> True Blue. I love you. I love you. So hopefully he makes it in time. If not, that's okay. We have definitely plenty of um, of content. So now that we know what we're going to do, how about we get today's show started on here on Nerd to Know? Yeah? Is anybody ready? Who's ready? Let me see some hand emojis. Let me see some hand emojis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! We are ready. Okay, so now, like I said, we always start off with a pop quiz, right? And usually I get us to vote for the pop quiz we're going to be doing. Um, obviously, that's not an option this time. Also, you guys are very, very hard to, like, pinpoint what you want. So I've started, like, taking the liberty to doing that for you now. <laughs> so we're doing Star Wars trivia, obviously. So, um, so for those of you who are like that know Star Wars really, really well, I hope you guys are ready. We are starting right now. So, are you ready? Give me a one if you are ready for Star Wars trivia. It's called, I call it a, a nerd pop quiz. Two is fine, you you haters. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's go. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> All right, in Star Wars, oh my gosh, this, some of this stuff is <laughs> stupid easy, just so you know, some of it is stupid easy. R1C1, I'm dead already, wow. I'm getting answers and I haven't asked any questions. <laughs> okay, number one, no, stop answering. <laughs> number one, in Star 
Star Wars, what do they call the invisible power that binds the galaxy together? And by the way, thanks to all of you trying to figure, yeah, yeah, there you go. Just so you know, all your first <laughs> answers <laughs> were wrong. Damn, I am the force that holds the universe together. You're right. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> I am. Okay. <laughs> okay. Number two. C C3PO is fluent in how many languages? Okay, you guys. I already saw the answer. Damn. So. <laughs> Stop looking. 17. Six million. Ooh. That was almost sort of close. All right. I'm going to tell you guys the answer in five, four, three. Nobody's gotten it right, by the way. Two. Oh, more miserables. One. 60 million. Not 6 million. 60 million. He knows 60 million languages. Come on, people. Let's get, you said 6 million. You said 6. You said 6. You needed to. You were the closest. Like I said, if you added a zero, you, I meant 60. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> That's why I said you were the closest. Uh, yeah, Un was close. He was pretty close, I must admit. <laughs> okay, okay, next, 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 next. Okay. Is sarcasm, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, okay, so next question Who killed the four ma Jedi Masters? Say Satan, Mace Windu, Kit, Futsu, Kit Fitzo, and Agent Kular. Come on, guys. Come on! Oh, I am... I, you noobs. You noobs! Okay, you have to explain who that is, then. Darth Sidious? Yes. I have to explain who Darth freaking Sidious is? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched the movies, okay? Darth <laughs> Ariana. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it's true. I didn't give her any time to prepare for Darth Vader or, like, Star Wars, even though that's what we're doing this entire show about. I made her watch the entire series of The Boys instead so we could do banter about that. I am! That is what I am. I can't say that out loud. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, next, next, next. Okay, next. What is the name of Yoga's... Yoga... Yoda's home. What is the name of Yoda's home? Shrek, I'm dead. Baby Yoda. <laughs> I, I wish not all my people were trolls all of a sudden. <laughs> you still have much to I have, <laughs> I have so many trolls. Yoda's planet. Yes, it could be called Yoda. Swamp thing. You know what? It was a swamp planet, wasn't it? Okay, it's Dagobah. Seriously, guys, you guys are so disappointing me. It's not even funny. It's it is Dagobah. <laughs> Hi, Dragon. I mean Red Hood. I mean Jason. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what, Marty? Back at you. Okay, okay. What is the name of General Grievous's flash grip, which is not mentioned in the movie? Do you guys remember that? Shrek, you're not allowed to answer anymore. <laughs> is that, is that, that's, 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 that's actually really close. I mean, I did say it. That's what she said. Wow, you guys are the worst. I remember when people were good at this instead of just saying They don't know that. the answer, so they got to make up something. Right, right. I, sh I should have let them vote, even though it was a Star Wars day. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. It's called the invisible hand, by the way. General Grievous used the invisible hand. Invisible hand. Hi, Allie. Um, okay, so, wow. Hot, yeah, right? <laughs> wow, hot. Okay, moving right along. Hold on, hold on. I want to get... What is the name of the Wookiee's homeworld? What is the name of the Wookiee's homeworld? Come on, this is a cool one. I thought this was a good one. I... I hate you guys. Wookie <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boogie. I, I feel like he's cheating though. <laughs> oh, Nick got it right. I don't even know how to Kashik. Kashik. Although, I mean, when you think about it, it's like Kashik. You know what I mean? Because like they they, they can't really, you know, enunciate. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, Ellie. Yes. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay moving right along which species stole the plans to the death star which species stole the plans to the death star uh and boot i'm not winning this one no you're not no indeed a droid uh no it's a species oh i guess droid is a species now that i think about it <laughs> Human, that's a good guess. I mean, I mean, we created Star Wars, so. <laughs> but uh, so it was a bros. Bro, did you mean? Oh, he. Did, she did say bros. She did. Oh my god. <laughs> it is the brothens. Yes. No, she was close. Brothens. Yes. Okay. Yeah. By the way, Allie's kicking all your butts. <laughs> I just want you to know she's brand new and she's kicking your butts. So, oh my gosh, yo, welcome to my Nerd to Know show. Oh my God, I'm so excited to have you. We're doing Star Wars trivia right now because, you know, May the 4th. Oh, take a look. It's in a book a reading rainbow. <laughs> yes, so, 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 next, next. Who built, okay, this is easy. This is stupid easy, but I'm going to ask it because you guys don't seem to know any other questions. So, who built C-3PO? 50 bucks says it takes like 20 minutes for one person to get the right answer. <laughs> no one knew any other answers. So in my, Disney built him. No, they did not. Disney bought Star Wars, not the other way around. First of all, that was my freak out for the day. Thank you very much. Yes, Anakin created C-3PO. Sorry. Sorry. Like, ah! Uh, <laughs> I missed it. It was who built C-3PO. <laughs> Do I see? Mm, I'm, not, I'm not looking anymore. <laughs> okay. What was the name of Boba Fett's ship? What was the name of Boba Fett's ship? Shrek always has the same answer. Luke is everything. I'm not going to... Your mama shit. If, if, if there's a question where they... I actually the looked. <laughs> I looked to see if you were right, Val. Yes, that's right, Greybeard. It's Slave One. Slave, oh my God, Data Inc. <laughs> I know why you thought that. <laughs> I do. No, it's Slave One. It's Slave One. On, we, you, really? Harry Potter Day was last week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, ah. Uh. <laughs> God, darn it. <laughs> I mean, it's May the 4th. Of course we're doing Star Wars today. Exactly, because he was originally a slave. I mean, technically, Django was his dad. I mean, there was, there was a lot to unpack there, but you know what I mean. Okay, okay. How old, this is one of the last questions we're going to ask. How old was Yoda when he died? Thank you guys so much. 17. Really? Challenge accepted. <laughs> A thousand, that's close. Six hundred seventy, nine hundred ninety nine years old, over nine thousand. So over nine thousand. Ali said nine hundred. Ali, Ali got everything right. Yes, he was exactly nine hundred years old. Actually, he kind of like just like celebrated his nine hundred nine hundredth birthday. Although they always say he's like nine hundred and something years old, but they were saying like how he. <laughs> how he was like how he like just had a birthday or something like that i don't know ah sorry i'm using this as like a hood to make me more insidious <laughs> not really yeah he was old af exactly exactly okay okay let's see oh my gosh oh my god i like this one who shot first this isn't even on here who shot first i'm not even going to give you context or anything I love you, Nick. <laughs> I love you, Nick. I love you, Nick. Yes, that's right. Han Solo shot first. So if anybody ever asks you who shot first when it comes to Star Wars, it's talking about Han Solo versus Frito. And Frito and Han Solo had a shoot off. And Han's technically shot first, but like the, the way they did it is they tried to make it look like Frito shot first. So like yeah, he, he really messed it up. Honestly, he didn't know he messed it up, and then he just left it. So that's the great thing about that. Now, I got this idea from this question. 
Who kissed Princess Leia first? Was it Han Solo or Luke? <laughs> yeah, they all think so. It was Hans, yo. I'm dead. Hans, yes, Val. Hans freaking kissed Leia first. That's <laughs> not <Natalie. laughs> I mean, come on, you saw her in that bikini laying up on that Jawa, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to know something really funny? Um, my One of my best friends in the whole wide world, that's a family friend, told my family, oh my god, I figured out which Star Wars character Ariana is. Do you guys want to know who I am? And everybody's like, oh my god, that is who she is. I'm, you want, take a guess. I'll give you guys like five seconds to guess. Who you think... No. Job of the Hut. <laughs> and this is because I eat like a slob. I lay on like a bed and I just let it fill with like my shit and trash. And I eat on my blah, 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 walkie, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And I saw my we'll tell you the last part at the after party. <laughs> And then there was more, but it's highly inappropriate. Yes, I am. Out of all the Star Wars character, I am definitely Jabba. I am Jabba the Hutt. Look up a YouTube video about Jabba the Hutt and you'll figure it out. <laughs> and I sit on I sit on people. That's just what we're going to say for now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, I am right, right. I'm definitely Java. No, no, no. I'm definitely Java. Okay. Last question. Last question. No, 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 no. I want it to be a really good one. What is the. Uh, no, that's too hard. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. Who is Luke Skywalker's most loyal friend, which is also his first mate? I feel like they messed this up but they didn't. No, 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 this is true, this is true. This is super confusing. This is a really confusing question. Jar Jar. Allie, what the hell? You know what, Allie? Do not kick anyone, okay? You belong here. <laughs> you can't leave anymore. You're not allowed to leave. No kicking, though, no kicking. Yeah, oh my God, she has kicked your butts in every question. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm so happy you came in. So that is the end of our trivia. One kick a month. One kick a month. No. <laughs> Only when I say. I mean, okay. You know what? I'm not going to feed into this, darling. <laughs> I'm not feeding into this. Okay. All the answers behind you because you already heard them. No, she read them. You guys can't really read them. That's a, the funny thing is the answers were in front of you, but nobody read them. I'm just saying. I don't think they can. Exactly. <laughs> she was like, no, they just read the answers. I was like, no, she didn't. <laughs> she did not read the answer. <laughs> did you read uh, the answers? <laughs> uh, barely, right? Barely. Thank you, Allie. Okay, okay. So. If you're just now getting in here, hi, hello, welcome to Nerd to Know. I am your show host, Ariana, and this is my co-host, Alluring Chaos. <laughs> and here on Nerd to Know, we talk about everything that you nerds need to know. So, so far, all we've really done is a Star Wars nerd pop quiz. That's what I like to call it. Darling! <laughs> I wish we would have grabbed the unicorn thing. <laughs> it's right there. Where? Too far. Okay. So, <laughs> so, so far we've done Star Wars trivia. Now I'm going to get into a little thing called uh, 10 Things You Nerd to Know. Right? And then we're going to start asking Alluring all these, like, intrusive questions about Star Wars that she doesn't know. So that people <laughs> who are noobs, like apparently everyone in here, except for Allie, um, can't, like, you know, can learn more about Star Wars because you're apparently all noobs. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help what you are, okay? <laughs> you, you're a noob, okay? <laughs> okay. I, I watched all the movies. 
They were just so long ago in my mind, like, oh, that, I don't need to remember that. Right? No, I understand. I do, I do get it. I do get it. Okay, so, so that's what we've done so far. So what we're doing next is we're doing our segment called 10 Things You Nerd to Know. Now, I've decided to do this all on Darth Vader. This is all about Darth Vader. Hold on. I want to bring both of those. A little bit more different. There we go. All right. So this is about Darth Vader. This is 10 things you didn't know about Darth Vader, okay? We're going to just, like, fly right through these, kind of, and um, move on to our... Next time. Notice that. Can you guys? There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're back. We're back. Okay. All right. <laughs> Nagi. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Now, here are 10 facts about moi, Darth Vader, that you nerd to know. Number one. I feel like number one, everyone's going to know. Number one. He wanted. Master rank to save Padme. So the whole reason why he tried to be the best was to save Padme. Yes, we're talking about Anakin. These are 10 things that you never knew about Anakin. Some of them you know. No, what, dude, it froze everybody. It, it's not just you, it's everybody. It's everybody. Dude, this is killing me. I need to be like directly connected. Ugh. Okay, I'm sorry if you got kicked out. Hello, hi, welcome to Nerd to Know. I'm your show host, Ariana. This is my co host, Olivia Chaos. And here on Nerd to Know, we talk about everything you nerds need to know. <gasps> now we're talking about. <laughs> I just wanted to catch everybody up. Okay, anyways, 10 things you nerds to know about Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, so he wanted to become master rank to save Padme. I honestly do not want to get into this because it's really, it's not worth getting into. It's obvious what it means. I'll read the rest of everything else though. Okay. Number two, he was surprisingly loyal to Darth Sidious. Now Darth Sidious is the original Emperor Palpatine. That's who he is. That's who Darth Sidious is. So... Darth Vader is, is like, obviously, he's far from stupid. By the third episode, he realizes that Palpatine has manipulated him pretty much completely at this point. But he doesn't really care because Padme is dying, and he kept having those visions of her dying. And he said, hey, my master, he knew how to overcome death. And he even told him, though, that, that he killed his master. So it kind of almost doesn't make sense. But by that point, he kind of already chose a side so it's like i know you knew that i know i know although in the end he still killed him I'm like i did not know this darth plagueis 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 darth plagueis is darth vader's father did anyone else know that i didn't realize anakin's father was already a sith I had no idea. I had I had no idea. Apparently, Anakin's father was a Sith. I thought his father was a pilot. Like I thought in the series they so, said so it was a Anakin's pilot. Anakin's master's master was Vader's or was Anakin's father. No, 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 no. Because Anakin's master was uh, Emperor Palpatine, and um, which is Darth Sidious, and. Anakin's dad didn't know Emperor Palpatine, as far as I'm concerned. But it says City of Sith Master. Holy shit, for real? The guy that was... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I love you. You read. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh, my God. The guy... Okay. Whoa. That's insane. Holy shit. I'm so glad I found this site. So, apparently... When he said, my master conquered death, but that doesn't make sense because he was supposed to be like like 400 years old. Like because he cheated death so many times. I don't know. That's crazy. Shall we read this? Let's read it. In the films, all we hear regarding Darth Plagueis, the wise, uh, Sidious's master, 
is the brief tale of Sidious in episode three relating to how Plagueis could influence midichlorians and identify to maintain life. This is used to lure Anakin, who Palpatine knows um, is haunted of visions by Padme's death. However, rewind it back, back to episode one in The Phantom Menace, where Anakin's mother, Shmi Walk, Walk, Skywalker, informs Qui-Gon Jinn how she miraculously carried... That's right, Anakin didn't have a father. That's right. He's like Jesus. He was like Jesus. He was supposed to not have a father. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. I'm like, I don't know why it doesn't make sense. He can still get jiggy. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, give me a moment with that one. Um... Okay, so creating life is too far of a stretch from unnaturally maintaining it, leading many uh, fans to believe, to spectate that dark Plagueis, oh my God, it's so hard to say his name, who was a much better scientist, who's much more of a scientist, like more of a scientist than a Sith, um, whether he had inadvertently or purposely made sure that Anakin's mom got pregnant through experimentation. Holy so they're just saying crap. that it's his DNA, right? Right. Like, like that he didn't actually sleep with her. No. He like magically and scientifically implanted Anakin's mom with DNA. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> oh my God. That is crazy. I can't believe it. So he was a science experiment, essentially. Yeah. Darth Vader was a Sith science experiment. <laughs> That is what he, yeah, talk about weird freaking science, man. That's crazy. Oh, my God. That is so nuts. That is so nuts. Wow. <laughs> Do you guys read this? Guys, read the next one. Read the next one. What does it say? What does it say? It says, number four, he rarely uses force lightning because he doesn't want to ruin his armor. Well, why do you think I don't? Why do you think I don't read these until I get here? Like, <laughs> so you can see my reactions to these. Like, really? I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Nope, nope, nope. It's melting the armor. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. <laughs> that would probably hurt if you think about it, though. Melting armor to your skin or something. Or do you think it just messed no, up? No, it definitely. I mean, no, it probably did hurt. But his. Did you have you? Do you remember when he only had this on and they took off his helmet? He looked like half a brain with two eyeballs. Like, he looked, again? Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to restart. Again, we're restarting. Oh, my God, we hit 17.7. Yay! Yay! Okay, we're restarting again. Thank you, Mimi, for technical difficulty. It could be my fault. It could be my fault. It's good. <laughs> his face was way messed up. Do you guys think I should restart it or, okay, don't restart, don't restart. Okay. All right. I'm not going to restart. I feel like my trend, or not my trend, but like everything is all messed up. <gasps> Are you serious? All right. That's a fucking show. Are you serious? You're not even chilling on favorites. Okay, hold on. Guys, give me a moment. Technical difficulties here. But look, 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 look. I went back to trending and you're here. So where are you on favorite? It must have it must have just gone back. No, it says I'm not trending. Guys, I gotta restart apparently. No, yeah, it is. You're not, you're not. Yeah, I gotta restart. Guys, I'll be right back. Please come back. We love you. I'm gonna start spires and spaceships have. Okay, I wanna hear the rest of this. I'm gonna restart really quick. Okay. Tell me the answer when you get back. Which are in the end it's gonna be good for us, I promise. It's gonna be good for us. So this is this is all worth it. This is all worth it. It's not mod bot, it's glitches. It's glitches. Okay. Hi Z. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I thought that that was hilarious. He rarely uses fork powers because he doesn't want to mess up his armor. I'm good, Joel. How are you? We're in the middle of Nerd to Know, and we had to restart for the third time. Like, oh, my God. Emoji J, you have to tell me how you made your thing move around and stuff because I love that. I really, really love that. Um, I'm going to get in here. 
So I feel like I don't know if I'm moving that much. Okay, good. All right. Okay, yes. Tell me. Tell me all about it. Thank you. I know I'm a weirdo. I, I think I know how to do it. Okay. Go away. Ready, ready. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Next one. Next one. Next nerd to know. Uh, uh, 10 things you nerd to know. Apparently, Darth Vader wants. I mean, this is kind of obvious because he was a Jedi, but Darth Vader once fought Boba Fett. And that's saying something because Boba Fett, exactly. We're, this is called Nerd to Know, Raphael, child of God, for Christ's sake. If you weren't looking for weirdos, you shouldn't have clicked on a thing that said nerds. <laughs> okay, anyways, anyways, did you guys know? Did you know? That Darth Vader once fought Boba Fett. I mean, I kind of knew because of that that uh, the Clone Wars with um, where Mace Windu died and like Jango Fett and Boba Fett. Like everybody was kind of involved in that. You know what I mean? So I had a feeling that him and Boba Fett probably had some issues. But they're saying here that it wasn't when he was Anakin. It was when he was legitimately Darth Vader. He fought Boba Fett. So let's see, although, the, oh, blah, 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 although the, the galaxy's most notorious bounty hunter was a frequent client of Darth Vader and the two shared a generally positive relationship, in the Legends comic, Boba Fett, enemy uh, of the Empire, number four, oh, because he was an enemy of the Empire, um, the, the pair entered a very interesting battle. Fett carries a chest bearing an item vader was searching for but isn't willing to give it to vader and that's how boba fett and darth vader vader start fighting so that is how that happens apparently i suppose you could call this battle a draw well yeah yeah i mean but because technically vader had him dominated it says. exactly but after this right i actually remember this comic book right after this he ends up using Boba Fett immediately after he tried to steal uh, Boba Fett's chess piece. So that was something that I do remember this in the actual comic books. I do remember that. I do remember that. Because I had like a bunch of the original comic books. <laughs> you have a bunch of comic books. I know. I know. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Number six is dope. Do you guys see this? He defeated number six. Number six. He defeated a Darth Maul clone. Who knew that about Darth Vader? No, I have quite a few. I have quite a few, okay? Did you guys know that he defeated a Darth Maul clone? I didn't even realize that he was around for something like that. I didn't even realize Darth Maul was cloned, I guess you could say. I feel like I need to... Go rewatch. No, no, no. You would know that. You would know that. This is comic book lore. So, like I said, you know, the, the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they don't tell you the whole story. The whole story comes through comic books, video games, and, and like series. series. Exactly. Cartoon series. Exactly. 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 So, apparently, um, he defeated a Darth Maul clone. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, Oh, really? Darth Vader cost Leia her position in the Senate. So when that whole thing happened, um, like, right, like when um, the very first scene that you ever see in Star Wars, do you guys remember? Where like, like Family Guy has a thing where they're all staring at one door and they're like, what if they come out the back? Which is exactly what I was thinking at the time. Um, <laughs> Like that when they get on that ship, right? I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't remember that. I guess. I guess I just didn't remember. I think that's what it was. That's just being a shitty father. <laughs> Come on, we all knew that Darth Vader was no good father. As soon as his children were were like out of Padme, he practically was out to kill them. Like that's literally. But didn't he look at it like it was their fault that she was dead? She, he, I think, I think maybe, actually, I never really thought of it that way. He might have thought that. I mean, it makes sense. It does make sense. It really does. <laughs> so, okay. I did not know that. I did not know that, Nick. So I'm surprised that you did. Okay, number eight. Number eight. He learned to be a force ghost from Obi-Wan and Yoda. Come on, that's not even a nerd to know fact. Screw you. 
Screw you, ten things. <laughs> Screw you. Oh, it's not even ten. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, bam. Okay. Why wouldn't? Oh, that makes sense. Number nine, he recognized C-3PO in Cloud City. Well, technically, Anakin Skywalker built C-3PO, but C-3PO was the kind of robot that was actually built over a, a C-series. Like, it's, it literally, he took the mold of a C-series robot and built C-3PO out of it. So, C-3PO generally built looked, it, why wouldn't he recognize it? True. But that's kind of the point, is that there are so many androids that look like C-3PO. You get what I mean? There's a whole C-series that looks like C-3PO. But there's only one C-3PO, which is why he would recognize him. Only one, only one of the C series of C three PO actually knows sixty million languages. Only one of the C series of this, like you know what I mean? He did. He recognized him. Well, he th this is saying that he recognized him in the movie too. You know what I mean? Like that's what they're saying that in Cloud City, as soon as he saw them, that that's kind of what got Luke and Han Solo and all of them caught and screwed over by Lando. That's what this is saying. Oh, of course he mourned C-3PO. C-3PO was like torn in half right in front of him. And he seemed to like look at him for a moment and then like walk away. Oh my God, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Lando is a sack of crap. I agree with you. I totally agree. Okay, this is the last one. He dueled Luke and Leia before episode five. What? Okay, this I didn't know. I didn't see a comic book with this. Hey, what's up, Ace Kiddo? I can't accept your battle. Ace Kiddo, I'm in the middle of a Nerd to Know show. On every Tuesday at 8 o'clock or 11 o'clock EST, um, to, like for an hour and 15 minutes, I have a show that like is very scheduled out. I can barely say thank you for guests, by the way. Thank you for the guests. <laughs> so anyways, number 10. I'm going to read this one out and everything. Okay. So, uh... A few female Jedi and Sith uh, initiations received the spotlight in the Clone Wars, which makes sense. Um, like Ash Ashoka, I think that's who you're dressed up yes. as, right? Ashoka. Oh, Tano. Tano. Yeah. Like Tano. Tano was literally, though, Tano was like the freaking hero of the Clone Wars. She's the one that, like, fucked everything up, like, and, and stopped everything and fixed everything during the Clone Wars. But, okay, so, um, like, Tano and Asij, um, but it wasn't until Ray's ap appearance, oh, Ray, Ray's appearance in Episode 7 that women received a film warrior that they deserve. Seriously, though, I just realized that. Like, it's really, um, it's really Tano that was, like, the main, like, awesome woman person, you, you know what I mean? That was, like, a hero that was a Jedi that was a badass, you know what I'm saying? Tano was a beast. That's why I was like, yo, yeah, dress up as Tano. Yeah. <laughs> she has no idea who Tano is. Like, <laughs> well, I, she, I, I know that it was Anakin's Padawan. Padawan. There you go. I knew it started with a P and I was just was like, I fucking love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. But I yeah. mean, like, in order to be his, she would have to be a badass. Exactly. Exactly. Honestly, it was kind of interesting because. Anakin already had this point to where the Jedi um, Council did not want to accept him. And then there was also the fact that, like, despite the fact that they didn't want to accept him, he was already accepted. And then after that point, there was a fight about whether or not he should even have a Padawan. And this Padawan was almost perfect for him because she was kind of fucked up too, messed up. Anyway, <laughs> I love a job at the hut. Thank you. <laughs> like, thank you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so job of the hut. What can I say? What can I say? I'm job of the hut. So welcome to Nerd to Know. Okay, so that was pretty much our last Nerd to Know fact, just so you all know. Um, so if you're just now getting here, hi, hello, welcome to Nerd to Know. I am your show host, Ariana, 
and this is my co-host for the day, Alluring Chaos. And here on Nerd to Know, we talk about everything that you nerds need to know. So, so far, we've had a, uh, a, a nerd pop quiz on Star Wars trivia. We had 10 things you nerd to know about Darth Vader and Darth Sidious, because that, that stuff was crazy. That was some crazy stuff, right? And now... We're going to go right along and start asking this beautiful woman some amazing questions that are going to, like, really, like, for all you noobs out there, which I know there's a lot of you, because, like, I can tell already by the, by the crack questions you guys answered today. Other uh, than Allie. Other than Allie, which I think she's gone, so we're safe to say this. Uh, <laughs> um, so, like I said, it's Star Wars Day. We did uh, 10 Things You Nerd to Know About Vader. Um, specifically, and then um, also um, the reason why I did Darth Vader and not Boba Fett is because I've covered the Mandalorian, I've covered Boba Fett so much after his death that I realized I never gave Darth Vader a serious time after the real Darth Vader died. So the one thing, the one thing that I want to tell you guys about Boba Fett that you guys didn't know. Um, because that we talked about on another show is that George George Lucas legitimately banned Boba Fett from any shows, from any Comic Cons, like to go to any Comic Cons because he couldn't stand the guy. He hated the guy that played Boba Fett so much. He banned him from Comic Con if he that was makes ever going to. No sense. <laughs> I know, but luckily for him, uh, no one really knew what Boba Fett looked like, so it kind of didn't matter. We need Barbie Fett tonight. Well, Barbie Fetch, I'll be here. And also, um, it's Darth Spice right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so now let's ask Alluring Chaos some questions. Do you guys have any questions? I'm going to start because I already have questions started. So shall we? Shall we? I'm going to start. Okay, so guys i told her that like the i told her to do this character because she asked me like what should i do like what what would be best i was like yo do this character so we kind of already talked about this i have it written down do you remember the name of this character ashka tano tano i i don't even remember we <laughs> wow uh ash ash ashoka 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 I always called her Tano. You know what I mean? Tano's easier as well. But also, I can't remember. Somebody in um, Star Wars called her that. So I think it was Anakin, actually. Uh, question. Have you seen Bernie Sanders' mittens modded into the Star Wars games? <laughs> no, but it looks like something I really need to see. Like, <laughs> crap. Okay. So what, by the way, okay. So let's say we start from where Anakin, actually, let's say we, yeah, let's say we start from where, where this Padawan starts. Do you remember, like, anything about Star Wars up to where Anakin gets Padawan? Um, I, I don't know how I would exactly answer that because I don't know what you're looking for there. Anything, like, like um, at the beginning of Star Wars, for example, it was pretty much a battle between the the Naboo and I was just gonna say a bunch of races, basically. I fucking love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was that was that was great. That was great. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, wait, hold down the fort really quick. I forgot that. Oh my god, you know what else I forgot? My freaking keep the show going. Okay, so really quick, really quick. Explain who you are. Why don't you tell me and I'll go get it? That's a smart idea. Well, no, because you explaining it will make sense. Start from, oh, sorry. <laughs> Start from there. Okay, so this is really going to help out with people who don't know sorry, I'm about the in-between series or the games that tell the full story of the Star Wars. And, like, I've watched a bunch of the movies. I haven't really watched a whole bunch of the series. <laughs> I'm not really wrong. Did I talk shit to you during that thing? Because <laughs> I have shit talked to you during that thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, go on. Go on. This, go this. this character's name is Ahsoka Tano, a 
Garuda, a female who was the Padawan learner to Anakin Skywalker in the Hero of the Clone Wars. Alongside Anakin, she grew from a headstrong student into a mature leader, but her destiny laid along a different path than the Jedi. Ashma Tano was a former Jedi Padawan who, after the Clone Wars, helped establish a network of various rebel cells against the Galactic Empire. And told Baby Yoda to go screw himself. <laughs> because the reason that she did that, though, was because she was like, I've already had somebody that's had a lot of darkness. Right. Which was Anakin Skywalker. So well, she's more like, like a lot of fear. It was all about the fact that Grogu had so much fear in him that um, Grogu reminded Tano of, um, of of Anakin, obviously. So, do, you, do you think Could that, you imagine a 900-year-old Anakin Skywalker being Darth Vader? Holy crap. Ooh. That would be horrible. <laughs> but, that would be but, so but, bad. Who, who do you think was worse? Anakin? Or maybe Yoda? Anakin could only be like 80 years old. Baby Yoda could be... Baby Yoda as a baby is 50. Yeah, but he's a baby, when, but when he's he gets 50 to years a certain old. point and realizes powers, do you think he would have as much fear? Yes. Okay. He he was raised on fear. Baby Yoda was literally raised in the in the Jedi Order. And when <laughs> Anakin started killing people, he he got hit. Like like Baby Yoda got hit away. And they were so scared to even release his whereabouts, and everybody was trying to find him that he had nothing but fear in him. So I feel like training him to be a Jedi is just repeating history, but it'll make him 900 years old. Wow. Is that the end? No. Uh, she helped establish a network of various rebel cells against the Galactic Empire. She even died during a series of events on Mortis, but the daughter of Force uh, Wielder, who personified the light, Side, sacrifice herself to bring Tano back to life. So, for all you guys who don't understand why she was able to make an appearance appearance in the Mandalorian, was because she had already died and been brought back to life by the daughter of the light. So, was that her daughter or the daughter of the light? No, the daughter of the light is literally. Oh, okay, sorry. The daughter of the light. There we go. I should have just used this the whole time. <laughs> um, the daughter of the light is literally um, it, the daughter of all Jedi. Um, like, I don't remember a lot about it. They they specify even more about it in. Um, oh my god, thank you, Darwin. And they specify even more about it in um, in the new like Rogue One series seven, eight, and nine. But um, yeah. Also, they also specified a little bit more about it in like a game that came right after it too that I played a little bit about, but. You yeah, think they're gonna talk more about it later on in the Mandalorian. Definitely. Oh hell yeah. Okay, so the reason that I haven't seen the Mandalorian is because somebody was already watching it, and they're like, "On episode two, I should just start watching it with them." I'm like, "No, I play no. video games." Don't get me wrong, <laughs> man. The Mandalorian is one of those shows that it really is hard to get into. Okay, Almond, um, that's what matters. Um, <laughs> that's what matters. That's what matters. That's all that I care about. You make fun of me all you want, as long as you, as long as you like me, um, <laughs> or as long as you make me feel like you like me. Um, anyways, so yeah, so okay, really quick. Now that we've talked about, like, okay, I just, I really wanted to get into Tana's character because she's such a big deal. She made an appearance on the Mandalorian. She's definitely going to make more appearances on the Mandalorian. She's the daughter. She's practically the daughter to the daughter of the light which is the daughter of all Jedis kind of thing. And then, um, so like, I just wanted to get all of that out there. And like, so people knew who she was dressed as, who I'm like cross, uh, like, uh, like drag queen dressed so as. So I knew who I was dressed as. So she knew he, she, she was dressed. Actually, I didn't tell her any of this crap. I wanted her to find this out in front of you guys. You know what I mean? Like, I was so, all worried. Like, I was like, like I'm so scared that I won't know anything. I'm like, bet this will make it a better game. Like, this will make it a better game. You guys look legit. Lily! Lily! Oh, my God. Well, wait, Lily, Lily, Lily. Don't kick she's anyone. She's so pretty. I know. She's gorgeous. Don't kick anyone, Lily. Okay, okay. Anyways, okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, 
now that we've talked about everything Star Wars, now that we've gotten May the 4th, like, pretty much out of our system, I feel like we've really talked about Clone Wars enough. Also, by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys played um, The New Order. It is a great freaking game. Who knows all about it? It's absolutely fabulous. Um, anyway, so if you're just now getting here, hi, hello. My name's Ariana, and I'm the show host of Nerd to Know. I kind of messed that up. This is my co-host, Alluring Chaos. And here on Nerd to Know, we tell you nerds what you need to know. I messed that up too, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> you get the point. What you need to, what you nerds need to know. Yeah, that's it. That that was about right. Anyways. <laughs> So, okay, so now that we talked about Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker, the Clone Wars, and Tano's role in all of it, I feel like we've pretty much gotten the Star Wars May the 4th out of our system. We can move on to one more subject. This is our final subject, okay? Me, Me and Alluring Chaos <laughs> just finished watching, I mean, her, I finished the whole thing, but <laughs> she rewatched it. With I rewatched <laughs> the First season of The Boys. Who in here has seen The Boys? I don't Who, feel like anybody's gonna say that. Oh, bet. Wait for it. Who has seen The Boys? Yes. No, you saw it. You Anybody it. awesome has seen The Boys? I'm sorry, you're just now getting awesome. Right. <laughs> well, I don't have Amazon, so so that was part of it too. No, 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 awesome. okay. okay, so let, I see. So Nick's not awesome. Loon's not yeah, awesome. Go on there. <laughs> they Nobody's <are> awesome. <laughs> you gotta get it from them because oh, that's dope. That is so dope, Zucko. Oh my god, I gotta favor you. Oh wait, I already have you favored. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? What was I talking about? Okay, okay. So okay, so since we just started watching it, by the way, um, what episode are you on right now? Do you remember? I think it's like the second from the last episode or the last episode. I think you're on episode eight, actually. I think is so that the last one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Episode eight. So, so, so basically what this is about is if it was any one of y'all that were superheroes. So <laughs> let's rephrase that. Who, which it, it's called the seven, right? The superheroes, the boys does not refer to the superheroes. It refers to the people that fight the quote unquote superheroes. So. The seven refers to the Justice League. Come on. Aquaman, uh, Batman, Black Noir is Batman. Aquaman is that, you know, the, the rapist aqua guy. Um, I was just expecting you to answer it. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, the Wonder Woman is made. The, you get what I mean? Like, uh, Starlight seems to be more like Power Girl and all of that. Oh my gosh. It is so good. It's such a good show. Y'all can kiss my butt if you don't like it. So, anyways, so um, what do you like about it so far? Like, like, what are you into? Who's your favorite character? All that. Probably Starlight because Maeve has kind of been through a couple of things, and she's not is um believing in herself as she should be right she's she's and, more of like a, a bot Star, starlight is a little naive at this point but she's kind of getting it and she's like okay y'all want to play like that bet here we go exactly exactly i have to say my favorite is the aquaman character um the fact that he screws a dog that he has an argument with the dolphin on whether or not to have sex with it was one of the funniest conversations but, 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 in the world. But, but, but then he's like almost gonna give in. Oh yeah, he was about to give in to have to have sex with the dolphin. And then as he's like arguing with the dolphin that he saved from SeaWorld on whether or not he's gonna have sex with it, he slams on the brake and completely murders the dolphin. It was so great. It's also the thing that final like like nail in the coffin got it kicked out. But, of but seven. it's even funnier because he's gonna be like a spokesman for the sea world too. So which is why. But that was the whole reason why he couldn't do it. He was all like, I can't let these dolphins, these dolphins are so upset. Oh my god. And you know that scene that we just saw like yes, with the with yes, the lobster? Yes. And then it happens all over again. Like you, you right. didn't think that was gonna happen. Exactly. He so just keeps killing his friends he's, he's a little um not on the bright side 
<laughs> so at first they do everything they can do to make you not like him and then they do everything that they can do to make you freaking love him it's like okay no get this honestly what the boys is is if like, the justice <laughs> league exactly exactly yeah. Oh my god, I almost want to show you guys a co like just that scene. Just the scene where he's arguing with the dolphin. Like I legit want to what <laughs> it just happened. And the light just went out. It just died. What the hell? Was that always what happened? Oh my god. That that was all that are everywhere. I'm interested. There are no Non-technical difficulties happening here. Oh my god, are you serious? Did it die all the way? It died because there's nothing plugged into it and there goes that. <laughs> Thank god for magnetic liner. Look at that. Damn. <laughs> really? Right? <laughs> so my eyelash just fell off and I just like snip, snip, snap, put it right back on. <laughs> Oh, I am loving Cali. <laughs> it is amazing. Okay, okay. So, 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 so. Do we so. need another light? Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, we, we have 10 more minutes. Okay, so, uh, I don't think so. I think we're pretty good, actually, on lighting. Yeah, okay, we're good. good. We're good. We look good. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> You're terrible, Morty. Anyways, okay, like I was saying, we're just going to block you out for a moment. Um, <laughs> Morty. Morty, specifically. Okay. So also, guys, um, um, I just I, read that bottom part. Ah! No! <laughs> Stop reading things! <laughs> I can't help ah! myself. <laughs> Thank you for the love, uh, love, guys. Okay, okay, really quick. There is something that I can tell you all. About I, I just want to get right into it since you read it already. <laughs> um, uh, so there is something different about the boys. Okay, the boys is a comic book, right? And it's uh, it's very DC oriented around the Justice League. Um, if 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 Superman was actually the Ultra Lord instead of Superman, but actually gave a, a crap what you thought about him, right? So like he's terrifying. He's a sociopath that just wants to be loved and like he wants America to love him and all that. But but he kind of wants the power and to lead too. Right. Well, he definitely does. That but he wants he wants the power to lead and he wants everyone to love him while he leads. So he wants to be like an Alexander the Great type of person. So, the cool thing that you know, you know where we are in the comic uh, in the in the series right now. Yeah. Like the whole like ending of oh my gosh this is why Billy hates Homelander, blah blah blah. So that scenario actually didn't actually originate with Homelander. It originated, and you don't find this out until mid comic book with Black Noir because in the comic book this is not a, this is not a spoiler by the way. Thank you, mom. In the comic book, Black Noir is Homelander's clone. I wonder. How many people knew that? Do you think they're gonna come out with that in the next season? No, they. I already. I've seen the next season. Black Noir is not Homelander's clone. They did not make sure that the one that raped the the woman of Billy was Noir and not Homelander and blah 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 blah. So yeah, yeah. yes, you should watch it. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yes, you should definitely watch it. Listen, everybody. Morty is the biggest troll in here, and apparently Andy is here. It, probably. <laughs> Morty hates everything. No, Morty just likes to be a punk. That's what this is. That's what this is all about. Okay, yeah. He likes to say he hates everything. Yeah, no, no. He just likes to talk smack. He just likes to disagree. That's all this is. <laughs> Don't listen to them, Nick. He's like, you know, Gossard. Don't listen to them. I love you. <laughs> oh my god oh my god really quick really quick so i know we already talked about this last time what did you think about the ending of future diaries i really wasn't expecting that <laughs> that's right <laughs> like holy crap like uh future diaries nick <laughs> like, okay it's uh it's called a future diary and then like the the all around is future diaries because it's about plenty of people who's in the past i'm dead 
Um, the ending of Future Diary, of A Future Diary. Have you seen it? Is it kind of like the ending on the movie Kids? The movie Kids? A pen? No. <laughs> you freak! <laughs> Guys, this is what I have to say. This is what I got to say. Oh, my God. It was oh, crazy. Okay, okay. It was no, very so, Goku. So, 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 like, this series was so tightly wrapped up, and they, like, looked at every little aspect, and, like, from the so, beginning to the end. you need someone that's already seen it and watched the comics and stuff like that to even make you realize some of the things that have happened. I've had to watch it six times, and on my sixth time watching it, I was She's still, still learning. learning stuff out. I was like, oh, my God, that's why this happened, and that's why this happened. Oh, my God, I get it. <laughs> yeah, so that happened. Um, oh, oh, my God, the fact that, like, like, you know, you know, I must admit the thing that was like supposedly uh, Yuki's like quote unquote worst reaction to the worst thing you know ever did. I didn't think that was the worst thing she did. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, no spoilers. I don't want to spoil anything, but you guys better watch Future Diary. I mean it. A Future Diary. Watch it. After you watch it and after you understand what's actually happening. And then rewatch it for the second time. <laughs> Law abiding citizen or Book of Ellie. Uh, I mean, honestly, honestly, it's like, okay, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm doing it. I, I, I don't feel like those were as detailed, were they? Well, trailers, Japanese trailers usually aren't very detailed. But no, let's no, 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 no. I'm talking about, he was talking about law abiding citizens. Oh, right, right, sure. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, they, totally. They, this was more super minor. detailed. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. No. Listen, watch, watch, watch. This is the Future Diary official trailer. Are you guys ready? Can you hear it? It's April just 22nd, 659 a.m. Squad a double bullseye doing my morning routine. I hate you, Yuki. I hate you. The news Sorry. Ran a thing about the I hate him. Everything I've seen, no, everything I'm going to see is already here. A future diary. Hey there, Amino. Did you hear it, right? You got a dead end, right? How did you know this that? This is a good one. This is a good trailer. He who weathers the vicious onslaught shall win a throne in comfort, and Davy will succeed me. Sounds like this game should be interesting. It'll be okay. You know he's here to protect you. Oh, this that's the picture I recreated. My imagination. You just like violence? I love her. Oh, I love her so much. She's my wife. Oh my god. I love her too. Yeah! The terrorist! The serial killer! Okay, she's more of a serial killer than he ever was. GSX Machina! Oh, 12 was awesome! I'm not sure who I like more, the terrorist or 12, to be honest. You know, I really wish that 12 got more airtime. Because, um, 12 like, was like, so like, he, freaking he died cool. what? Like, he was a vigilante! In the first half? He died in the first six episodes. Yeah, like, yeah. He had two episodes after he ripped out somebody's eye and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you really need to watch it. Yeah, You're only a serial killer if you get caught. I mean, no, not technically. Another anime. Yes, of course, another anime. And there's We're probably always gonna be, going probably to gonna talk about one. anime. There is never going to be a time where we don't talk about anime. Get your mind around it, Brian. Just freaking get over it, okay? Hentai, I will touch you about hentai. I know I am. I know I'm a hentai. I know that.